Welcome to Excel and Finance video number 50. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Chapter 6, or the PDFs for Chapter 6, click on the link directly below the video and then scroll way down to the Finance Excel class section. Hey, in this video, uh, we want to talk about how rates, bond rates, are inversely related to bond price. Now, there's three uh, principles in bond finance we're going to touch on. The first one is the rates and prices are inversely related. The second one is that bonds sell at par discount or premium. And the third one is the more years to maturity, the higher the interest rate risk becomes. Now, in this video, we'll just examine this first one here. Uh, that rates and prices are inversely related. So as the discount rate goes up, the price goes down. So in this example here, we have a face value, but the coupon rate and the yield to market are exactly the same. Price is a uh, thousand bucks, face is a thousand bucks, it sells at par. Um, but let's just take a look here. Here's the coupon rate in the second example of 6% and yield to market is seven. So what happened to the price? As this went up, this went down. Similarly, if we start at um, 6% and we go down, that means the rate goes down to 5%. Whoa, the price goes way up. Now, let's go look at an example the more dynamic than this over in Excel. Here's, we have a, a coupon and a yield market at 6. Let's just go to 6.5. All right, so now the yield to market is greater than the coupon rate. 6.5 is greater than 6 and the price went down, selling at a discount, right? It's selling at a discount because if the market's offering 6.5 and you're offering 6, no one in their right mind would come and take that 6% rate unless you offered it as a discount. Let's go to 7, remember 7, right? So it's going up, the rate is going up, now the price went down, 8, down even more, price is going up, 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 I'm sorry, the rate is going up, 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 and the price is going down, down, down. So we finally get to 10, right? Rate got, has gone way up, price has gone way down. So that's an example of how they're inversely related. All right, now let's go the other direction. Let's go back to 6. Now let's go to 5.5. All right, so price went up a little bit, right? Yield to market is less than the coupon. This is less. So we get to sell it at a premium. And the reason why is everybody wants this rate if the market's given a lower rate and we have a coupon of six. Everyone wants it so we can charge more. Now let's look at the relationship. Five, now we're going to go down 5.5 to five. All right, price is going up, right? We go to four. The rate is going down. The price is going up. We go down to three. Wow, price is going way up. So they are inversely related. Now let's look at another example here also. We'll make a little table. Uh, price. And we'll actually, no, let's uh, put this over here. And we'll put rate here. And I'm going to just type, um, we'll start at point zero 0.04. Point 05. I'm going to highlight these two numbers. I've typed them in. We've established a pattern which is add 1%. So I'm going to click the fill handle and drag down. All right. So now we want to build our a formula. This will be a little chart and we'll make um, a little table and we'll make a little chart. I'm, I've just added some formatting. Now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control asterisk to highlight the whole table. Asterisk on the number pad, add some borders. Add some uh, color just to say that's a formula. All right, ready? All right, we'll do our present value function. The rate, this is our discount rate here. That's a relative cell reference, and we divide it by, and we got to get our n up here. F4 to lock it. Come our NPER, we have that right here, and we have to hit our F4 key to lock that cell reference. Comma the PMT. Uh, let's do this from the point of view of the issuing corporation or because we need these, I want these positive because we're going to make a chart. These numbers, if they're negative, the chart interprets them oddly. So we're going to say payment going out, semi-annual coupon. I'm going to hit F4 on that, comma, our future value, negative. 
click on that cell and hit the F4 key to lock it, and that ought to do it. We can leave the type off because this it assumes that it's an end annuity pattern. Control Enter, double click and send it down. And we can clearly see that as the price goes up, I'm sorry, the rate goes up, the price goes down. Now let's plot this on a chart. It's quite easy to do so. Uh, these are two numbers. And since there's two numbers and we're going to move out a certain way on one axis and up on, uh, or down on the other axis, that means we have to use an XY scatter, not a line chart. So we're going to go to in. And by the way, we have label, label. This will be the label for, for this. This will be the label for this. Highlight it. The X, this will be the X or horizontal. This will be the Y or the vertical. If you're using an XY scatter, be sure and put your X values first or to the left of the uh, Y values. Insert, scatter, and we're going to use uh, this one right here. And let's click there and delete. Let's click here and right click or Control-1, Format Legend. We're going to say show that at the top. So clearly, we can see that as, oh, and two other things. We have to go to Layout, and we're going to go to Axis Titles. I want the horizontal, and I'm going to, I'm going to link this to uh, this cell right here. So I'm going to, with that label selected, click up here, type the equal sign, and click there. Enter. Now I need a. a Axis label there, so I'm going to go there and vertical, maybe this one right here. Same thing, it's highlighted. I click up here, type equals, and bond price. So we can clearly see the relationship is inverse. As this increases, this one decreases. Scoot this out of the way here. All right, uh, that's a little bit about rates for bonds, prices for bonds, and how they're related, the relationship being inverse. All right, we'll see you next video.